Hey guys, uh, I'm Kishan. Today I'm going to talk about my project for job recommendation system. Okay, so people are looking for jobs and they are using some websites kind of like uh, Indeed, Glassdoor and so on. And those websites are basically using keywords matching to help people to find jobs. And for example, if we're looking for software engineer in New York City, then Indeed will return me a long list of jobs. And but it's very efficient because I need to click each of those jobs and to see whether those jobs are good for me. Uh, so uh, I want to do some some work with the recommendation system that can help me to recommend suitable jobs based on my resume. It's very it will be very helpful and very efficient for job seeker and also for the job recruiter. Okay, so the data, I got the data from majorly from Jobin.com. It's a Chinese website and it's also a largest uh, job seeking platform in China. It has over 13 industry fields and, and including 300 sub industry fields. And if we click the website, we can see, yep, here. And then if we want to find jobs, there are 13 major industry. And within the 13 major industry, there are many sub industries we can select jobs with. Okay. So uh, what I do is I do the web scrambling for both resume and job descriptions. And each resume, it has major industry, the resume want, that the people want to look for jobs. And the major part with, the major problem with the data scrambling is sometimes we can use URL IB to get HTML, although it's very straightforward and simple. So uh, the alternative way to do that is using Python JS is a very powerful tool. Like we can, it helps people to simulate user behaviors uh, um, to click buttons or uh, like uh, input text, something, um, lots of things you can do with Python JS. It's very powerful. So we use Fenton JS with in Python uh, to simulate users' behaviors such as logging and click JavaScript, JavaScript something. Um, it's very helpful, but uh, it's, it's very slow. Usually it took um, maybe like 2.5 seconds to process a page. So it took me two months to get millions of resume and job description with 30 AWS EC2 machine running simultaneously. So after I got those HTML, I saved the data into AWS RDS MySQL. And then I used regular expressions to parse, uh, to do the HTML parsing uh, to convert the unstructured data to structured data frame. So here is an example of the job descriptions. It has ID, title, company, salary, location, and so on. And here is example of a resume. It has many fields, right? So we can clearly say like um, uh, for education and experience, we don't know how it's very flexible the number of experience is very flexible with the given people. So uh, we'd better use MongoDB to store those data. Yep, so here, if we look at more deeply into data, there are 13 major industries here. And then some of the industries are highly correlated with each other. So here we select five major industries to do our jobs. 
here were IT, consulting, real estate, and production, manufacturing, and finance. Okay. So, um, so the major part to do with data pre-processing is to extract work description from both resume and job descriptions. For Chinese, it's very hard to do the nature language processing and also tokenization because um, for English, it's very simple to do the tokenization. It's just like separate by space. But for Chinese, there are many, many different ways to uh, split words, right? So, but there is a very powerful package called Jeba. So it's a Chinese text segmentation package. We can use Java to do the tokenization and also the trunking. Here's the example of uh, of the descriptions we can tokenize with. And also to I also need to set up the stop words and to remove the punctuation after we token tokenize the words and tokenize and trunking the words. And also what I do as part of the data pre-processing is to uh, conduct word count and TF-IDF for, for each word within different industry categories. So, uh, and here is the overflow chart, overall flow chart. So I get the data online and then I save it as uh, HTML format into MySQL and then I do the HTML parsing for both resume and job descriptions and to do the text segmentation and then I use LDA to find the topic words and then uh, and get the TF IDF uh, from the resume and put those into the training set and then fit into the gradient boosting model and then uh, use validation set to retrain the GBM and after all I evaluate the result okay so the model I first use is uh, LDA first I find top uh, like top 100 topic words in each industry category and and also uh, I build up a dictionaries and move out the stop words and move out the punctuations here is an example for the IT, um, uh, like major categories. We can see those are all like a, a top 30 topic words for IT field. And after that, we got all of the words together and consider those words as a feature, as features. And then we convert the problem into a supervised learning using a gradient boosting to predict the result. Uh, the result is very good actually. So uh, here's an example for a given resume. We can predict like 83% uh, of the time the resume is looking for IT jobs and only like 2.67% of the time it's, lo it's looking for consulting jobs. And it's kind of like probability like to for the given categories. And overall, the, the accuracy for industry categories is uh, about uh, 70%. And the accuracy for IT, internet and, and communication is very high because it has some technical words inside and for consulting and real estate and finance those three fields are mixed together so it's very hard to distinguish those like category and if we look at the subfields wow i mean like the sub sub industry is very hard to distinguish we only got average like 35% or 34% accuracy rate accurate rate and it's very low but if we combine top five uh, category the probability of top five category together is almost like 68 percent it's fair enough and in this project I 
use both like supervised learning and content-based filtering to do the job and it will give me a relevant score for each industry category given by the given resume. And here we use only five major industry categories, but if we are using all of the 13 major categories, we will use more complex classification model to train and test the data. And moreover, overall, it's very hard to distinguish different sub-industry categories, um, although like the major industry category is right for the given resume. And to, uh, to increase the accuracy, we need to generate more features such as product speech, name entity recognition, and so on. And hard constraints such as like work durations, requirements, locations, and salary should be also considered as the first step to the re this recommendation system. Thank you so much.